Yeah. So the most important aspect that we can look at is this part uh, where we are communicating through meetings and uh, we can use uh, uh, intelligent meeting solutions. We can share video, we can share content uh, and we can use a digital whiteboard, which is already inbuilt. We can have notes, we can have chat, we can share text files, PDFs, all these things and all types of meetings you can do. If you suddenly you want to have a spontaneous meeting, you don't have to schedule a meeting. Of course, this is the same with, uh, I mean, if I compare these four uh, softwares, uh, whether it is uh, Zoom, whether it is uh, WebEx, whether it is uh, Teams, and whether it is Google Meet. All the features are available in all four of them, right? Zoom is paid, if you look at. So that is the only difference, that is the only limitation as far as Zoom is concerned. Zoom is very friendly, Zoom is very, uh, everybody's got used already. So that is the, uh, that is the functional use is better. But Teams, and uh, the, this is where most of our students, when they land up in a job, they will be uh, using Teams. So that is one advantage. WebEx is another thing that they will be using. Of course, Google Meet also is the thing. So Google Meet is licensed for us and we can have, uh, uh, I think again, there also 250 students can be there in each class. So Google Meet, because we have our Gmail IDs on, uh, on uh, what do you call the Google uh, accounts, all our mnit.ac.in email IDs are basically Google IDs. So we have all the features that are there in Google uh, for us as well. Similarly, we need to actually have a Microsoft ID for this. You need to create an Outlook ID for this. But what we tried to force uh, Microsoft is to accept our email IDs. So we made a, 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 a change, right? So that uh, we can accommodate using the same email IDs we wanted to do. We wanted to create the same, in fact, the faculty underscore CSE itself. But there were some problems which are coming. You would have seen some phishing emails. Unfortunately, the timing matched with our this thing. So we had to roll back the rule changes that we were making. So we finally sorted that out. So what you can try to do is you can uh, you can use your mnit.ac.in ID and still use Microsoft Teams. So that is a functionality which we created, which we forced them. It is not available with other NITs. It took some time, but we could get it. So now what you can try to do is uh, uh, you can do video conferencing. So you can do deliver the lectures and share the information, right? So that is something. So then you have uh, an option because Microsoft products, all the Microsoft apps will be available once you have Microsoft Teams. So most of the apps like uh, SharePoint, OneNote, PowerPoint, and uh, Planner, Flow, and other things. Of course, we need to explore. There are so many apps that are there that you can look at. There is some artificial intelligence also in Teams. So some of these, uh, you know, uh, translate message translation uh, options are there. Like of course, of course, Google will also offer all these uh, uh, inline translation. If you are chatting with somebody else across the country, also he is typing in his own language. Somebody is typing in Chinese, right? And you are interacting with him. Right. So the Chinese will get translated to you in English. Of course, this is not very much related in our class, but of course we can use that live captions and subtitles. If you are talking, uh, you will get sub uh, captions. If you are not able to understand the other person's language, right, or the pronunciation, so you will be able to get a uh, uh, slides uh, where uh, the you can enable this also to your students, right. If if there is an issue of them not able to hear clearly, they will be able to read the text. Mobile companion mode, you can actually run both the things simultaneously. And customized background, what Rajiv was sharing in the background, you can put something else if somebody is at the back and then you, you would want to use that. So various people are using it and of course, obviously the last uh, education also, uh, we can use the uh, empower the students to create this thing. So, so uh, this is one thing we can start using. So let me quickly take you through some uh, this thing before I take a demo uh, and I've requested one of the Microsoft Teams partner to join us uh, so that uh, some of the questions that you will have, you may actually uh, would like to ask him so he'll be available to that, right? So this is how uh, the screen looks like uh, on the Microsoft, uh, sorry, is, is it is this being shared? The PDF is shared now? Right. So this is how the screen looks like. Right. So uh, you have uh, uh, you have uh, Microsoft settings where you can activate the uh, activities you can see. So this is this is the whole window uh, on the control on the left hand side. So this is one. 
So, so uh, first, first thing that you can look at is you can you organize, organize your meetings. So, things, things that come in here are one, one is the class that we will schedule, one, one is the team that we will schedule. Right? Team, team is something which is uh, 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 you are looking, looking at third year uh, electrical students. Okay? So, that's, that's the team. team. So, so you create a team. The class teacher, and maybe all the class teachers, you can put it there, program advisor, and all the students will be part of one group. And that we call it team. Once, Once we create, create a team, team then, then we create a class. class. Right? Class, class is you know, different, different subjects. You have six subjects. We have a electrical. First semester, we'll have six subjects. So six teachers. So, so six subjects, we will have uh, six classrooms, six classes. You will create classes. So that is that the things that is there. So as you see, teams you can create. So these are the things that we are mentioning here. So one of them may be third year electrical. Right? I will show you my own teams. Right? Then you will have uh, some of the apps which are there. Uh, you, you can, can add, add some files, files and you have, have a calendar, calendar option. Right? Calendar, calendar option will be like, like your uh, Google Calendar, whenever you have a file or something, it goes on your Google Calendar by getting one. Right? 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 So, so, whenever, whenever you schedule a meeting, it goes into this calendar. To schedule a meeting also, you, you can use the Google Calendar. And, and it is also seen, seen with many of the applications which are there. Right? And then, uh, like Microsoft Office, portal.office.com, I'll show you that also uh, next when I start the demo. So this is, and then you have additional applications which you can add. Uh, yeah. Here, these are the applications that you can add, and the files. Then the calls are of course not available in India. Uh, you, you can, can see if you, you want to email call, uh, you can call a order number and then call call a number to somebody in India, right? So, so that is the uh, effective. But in Cisco Webex is the only option that is available where you can call, uh, where you can call a Indian number. So, so that, that is possible. These are available. Uh, uh, in Google Meet also, that possibility is not there. Where you can actually listen to the lecture, right? So, so that, that the option is not there, right? right? And, and then, then here is the profile settings, settings that are there. And if you want to search anything that you would like to do, uh, uh, there is a the search option. option. Uh, to chat, there is an option you can start here. And all these uh, uh, managing of your teams, you can have the three buttons that are there. You can go and see the settings, right? right? You can view the team and uh, open everything, right? So, so this is how a uh, uh, team uh, quick start looks like. When I open my screen, you will also see my profile like this, right? So. Yeah, I think. yeah. This is the class teams that I was talking about. Once I create, uh, now physical science was actually the uh, the thing, and within that you can create a class. So this is uh, the class that we are creating. So you you have a channel. Now these channels are already created for you, right? The third year electrical channel you can search and easily. Uh, I'll show you. I'll uh, because I've created for uh, postgraduate students of MTech when I was taking the lectures last time. So I created a a channel for them. Channel is where I can communicate. Right, so I, I I created a channel. So every team has a uh, channel, right? And then you can uh, format a message here, and then you can keep it. So you can add channels to to manage your team. You can create groups. Uh, Rajiv was explaining uh, Zoom has breakout rooms, right? So one class can be split into multiple rooms. That is a functionality on the fly. You can do it while the lecture is going on. You can schedule ten ten students to go into different rooms and discuss and come back. Right, that's a well, it is like a group discussion kind of a mode that you shared. Similarly, here you can try to split that things into different uh, you know sub channels, and then you can ask them to go and come back. Right, so you can create the channels and you can manage your team. Uh, the, uh, on top of that, you see some of these things like posts that those are you can ask for a post and then you can ask ask them to respond. Right, so that is one thing. Then files, uh, whichever you want to share with them, some PDFs, some PPTs, some videos that you want to show. Uh, class, uh, notebook is where uh, the whiteboard that you are asking for. This is an inbuilt uh, notebook uh, is uh, inbuilt, uh, and then you have assignments you can add, and then you can grade the assignments. You can maintain the grades like Google Classroom. When uh, uh, Chitrakant will explain the similar functionality that you can see whenever you see the Google Classroom. On top of that, you will see all these functionalities. Whenever you open for a for a teacher, you will see all these things. For a student, grades will not be available. Assignments will be available, but grades will not be available because grades cannot be. See, you can also create some projects and give it to them. So you can also add some more uh, functionalities whenever you are adding more apps, right? Uh, in the in the morning Zoom, we were talking about if you want a uh, whiteboard, it is not available. You have to uh, add to it, right? In Google Classroom, we have to add to it. But then here we have it is inbuilt into it, and there are so many apps of Microsoft which you can keep adding, right? So that is one thing, right? So the assignments and grades you can give, you can schedule an assignment. The scheduling of an assignment or scheduling of a question will be something similar. So that's what I've asked one more of a colleague from Microsoft. He will explain how to schedule a, a question paper and how to do that. And uh, some of the functionalities here is uh, you can do jumbled questions, right? Uh, in uh, Google Classroom, it is basically uh, uh, straight questions and then they get answered. Can you jumble them for different students? 
Uh, uh, so the same functionality. So similarly, you can also do it. So that is where it saves a lot of time. See, we, if we give 100 questions and all the 100 questions, everybody is on the telephone or on a WhatsApp group, they can easily share the, all the answers. But if the questions go in jumbled way, it will be very difficult. For every question, they will have to ask others. Of course, it's an open book system. Yesterday in, in heads meeting also, the discussion was going on. Like final year students, this also is going to be a head uh, open uh, book exam. So obviously, students can search the internet and access, right? We know that uh, what uh, services is using on his laptop, we can search. But if he's using a mobile phone to search and uh, one more device to write, we will not be able to search. So uh, there is limitations in, in uh, proctoring. Proctoring is a different field, but in the next level of exams, maybe uh, the next mid exam that we'll have, we may have proctoring because by that time we can ask students to procure a, a webcam and uh, ensure and fix and we can all test it once and ensure and then we can have uh, uh, one of the faculty was suggesting, one of the head of the department suggesting that PhD students, like how they do invigilation, they will do proctoring 30-30. Uh, we are managing like that in EICT Academy also. We are having uh, for every 50 participants, you have one proctor who will actually check whether they are physically present, whether they are listening, whether they are seeing and everything. And their doubts and problems is also addressed by the proctor. In a similar sense, uh, we'll do that, but that is that is coming up uh, later. So these, these are the functionalities. You can do chatting, you can send information, and all this information is stored. Whenever you want to retrieve, you can retrieve, and then you can uh, recheck, right? So that is the team, the class, uh, how a class will run, right? Yeah. Schedule a meeting. Uh, this is how you can schedule. Uh, one of the option is go to the calendar. Calendar will be somewhere here. This this is the calendar. Calendar will be on the left hand side. I'll show you. I'll demo uh, one of the things now. So I'll go. The usually all the months are shown. So you can sh schedule a class and every Tuesday, uh, two o'clock. So, so that once you set it, it goes. In Zoom also you can do that. In Google Meet also you can do that. Same thing you can do here. Uh, so once you click some slot here, uh, a tab will open, and the tab you can set all those things, and then you can say uh, send it. And once you send it, and here you set the channel. Channel will be somewhere here. I'll show it now. Physical Science General. You set the channel. So what happens? All the students in Physical Science will get an email with the link for this, right? And all the students can log into their Teams and go to their calendar. They will be able to see, right? Uh, live uh, in the morning. I was seeing my wife also using Microsoft Teams for her school where she is teaching. So uh, they have created um, a tenth class uh, maths or something like that, and then she has created a channel, and then immediately it went on. So all the students are now taught to first you have to log in into Teams. Maybe the email concept is not there with them, and we don't know how many will have email. So they are all forced. All students say first you should log into Teams only. Once you log into Teams, go to the calendar. Once you go to the calendar, you will see the class. You click on the class, the class will open. Right. So that is something which we can do. So uh, email, email is one option. Uh, the second option is, you know the timetable, you know that the class is scheduled now. When, when the next semester starts, maybe we use Microsoft Teams or Google Meet. You know that we will send you the timetable by email right, or WhatsApp. right? And then they know that the class is there. So either they have to log in. If the teacher says, I am using Google Meet, they have to go to Google Meet and check that out. If they are, uh, if the teacher is using Microsoft Teams or maybe Zoom or different types, so they have to go to that particular account and then log in. And, uh, schedule that. So that is uh, another way. So you can schedule a meeting. Once you schedule a meeting, once you log in, you get a window like that, and then you can say, "Okay, I want to start now." Right? So that is something which you can look at. Right. Uh, to, uh, so the other side, how it how it appears to a student. Student will appear like this. He get a link like this, or he get an email like this, and then he sees join Microsoft Teams meeting. You click on that, and then you can join. Now uh, the same thing. It's so easy in case of Zoom because Zoom gives you a link. You can copy it and send it to. Email, send it to, uh, send it on WhatsApp. Uh, Google Meet also gives you that functionality. Unfortunately, Zoom, uh, this link when I copy and paste it on Microsoft Teams, only the text is seen. The link is missing. So you have to create an email. Uh, so in that email, that uh, whole address to be printed because uh, what what gets print, what gets shown is only this. Join Microsoft Teams. So you click on that and then you join. But otherwise, you need the content of that. That is the address which is hidden below. You copy that, then paste it into uh, a WhatsApp. So a little bit extra effort is needed in Microsoft Teams. So uh, uh, the two things that I would encourage you to use is my uh, Google Meet because it is official uh, and we are licensed with the enterprise version. Uh, the other side, Microsoft Teams because it is also there. But the uh, but the functionality that is there is that a uh, uh, lot of uh, hard work has already been put in. You can just select your class. The classes are created already. So what you do, you log in. Select the class and then you start using. So that is uh, what is uh, ease in Microsoft Teams uh, and of obviously. So once you log in, uh, you get a link like this. 
and then you say join now with your video without your video that all has been explained on zoom it is similar right so once you join also all these things are similar so you can turn off your video you can turn on your mic you can share you can allow participants also to share but obviously better to restrict otherwise uh, people will start sharing anything so it will be difficult uh, so these are uh, some options which are uh, give, given which are extra so you can uh, share the screen and you can additional call controls are there and then you have uh, chat here Yeah, uh, while watching, if you want to chat, you can do it, and then you want to see who are the members who are present. And the last button is to cancel the or the close the meeting, right? So these options are. So uh, these are the assignments. When you go, you can uh, go to the assignment, and then you can schedule. These are the assignment clip. You click on the assignment, and then you uh, have the list of documents and whatever. And when you want them to submit, all these things. the assignment can be used as a an exam you you say that exam will be available at this time and the paper will be available now and you have to submit within uh, so and so time right you can give them some grace right usually that is a problem when you have a cut off cut off means cut off then if they are not able to submit before that then they are gone right so you you must give them a warning say that after this time now i'll close it and then uh, of course because of uh, communication channels it's easy last time i when i did the exam With the tripartite quota, there was a problem. We closed because the time was there, and at twelve o'clock it was supposed to end. Twelve o'clock we ended the exam, and some student forgot to save. Now it's a big issue because if I open it, all will be able to make changes to their answers. So, but uh, because because the time uh, of interaction was less, so quickly I said I'll give you ten minutes only, and you have to make uh, whatever you can mark. You mark and say rest. I can't help. Otherwise, you have got zero because you know very much that you have to. Uh, click uh, each time. So yesterday also when we were discussing that, I, I made that a point that even if once the students make the selections, they should be saved, right? Because they already made a made a an attempt, right? And whether he saves or not, all those will go and get saved. So that's an important aspect that we can look at. Anyway, uh, the whole uh, this is how an assignment is set, and you can uh, make some changes here. Okay, I'll ask uh, uh, him to share. Uh, also, uh, Sushvik is there uh, from Microsoft Teams. He will share. So once you get the grades, these grades are available to you, and you can copy them to an Excel sheet, or you can easily port because that's also a Microsoft product. You can easily copy them, and then accordingly you can manage. So if you have conducted three, four exams, all the data is stored, so you don't have to maintain separate Excel sheets and all. So once immediately you can get it into the final report, and you can give that right. So uh, you can also, uh, you know, you can uh, do the uh, return and review the assignments. Uh, you can have, you can leave comments. uh you most of you know microsoft word uh, how to review the comments and leave the comments so you can check it and then if you want to give feedback to students you can ask them to submit the assignments close it if you want to give the feedback then you can make some marks on that all the assignments are saved and you can check similarity and all that you can do here so uh, that's where so uh, one note is included in it one note is the notebook that we can use the the whiteboard kind of thing one note is a software which is by microsoft so it is part of this So in Zoom also it is given as included, right? But uh, Google Classroom and other places uh, on Zoom you'll have to uh, Zoom you have, I think, uh, in Cisco you'll have to take it. So some of these things are you can add on those apps. Most of these apps are free also, so you can uh, have it. So you can do this kind of a discussion kind of thing on Note. Notebook is you can type and they will answer. You can write and they can also write. You can give the freedom for them to annotate, so they can write, you can write. A kind of a discussion. You can sometimes you ask student to come. Okay, now you come and explain on the board, right? so that is why you can say now okay this is what i have written now uh, some of you can attempt and make changes okay uh, so you can ask somebody you because you know the names then you can call out the names and say can you make a change so whenever people are making a change they their names will be visible here and you can track uh, you can also identify the interaction that is happening in the class uh, so this is how you sign in i will show you this and then start a conversation uh, and how do you uh, you can you can you have all the formatting which is there in ms word and Uh, powerpoint all these options which are used those are there so you can add it because it's a microsoft team right? uh, making video calls making audio calls replying to conversation all these things so you can also reply in whatsapp you say at the rate and then you select the name so all those things you can reply to a particular student you can reply to a particular conversation you can make a general reply all these things you have used in facebook also so i'm i'm not spending much time on that uh, so you can share files you can uh, work with files and then you have a lot of applications which you can add apps which are freely available because we are subscribed already to microsoft teams whatever is free with microsoft teams comes as an app 
but there may be some apps which may be very popular and very nice those apps you will have to uh, maybe procure if you want right so but freely there will be so many apps which will be readily available right uh, when when you use google all the youtube content will be available you can easily plug in youtube content right in same sense in some of the similar sense so whatever microsoft has already procured or whatever are microsoft services they are all going to be added to this so it depends on your preference how you go with it so you can search for already the existing information some files which you have showed uh, you can uh, find out the apps you can search for the apps uh, you can add the apps and then you can if you want to look at uh, some of the videos are there uh, transform learning with microsoft teams some of the videos are there i will share the slides you can click on the link and then you can go to that uh, particular place. There are other start guides which you can also look at. So let me give you a demo and then uh, we will stop and you can, your questions I will try to answer. So uh, I don't know how I can, whether I can bring in Microsoft Teams into this. Uh, sir, is Microsoft Teams visible on the video this thing? Because I'm sharing the screen, right? It's visible, right? So, uh, as you see, uh, this is the chat uh, window that we are uh, trying to look at. So, uh, let me go back to okay. First, let me start from this. Okay, this is how a uh, Microsoft uh, uh, links looks like. So, there are two ways of uh, logging. So, let me have this option portal. Right. So uh, this is how the screen will look like once uh, we have portal.office.com. When we have portal.office.com, this is how it looks like. You get the link and uh, all your uh, mnit.ac.in IDs are already registered. So we can just click on that and then you enter your password and then you log in. So uh, so what happens is you you, you get to see all these uh, apps which are readily available for you in Microsoft Teams, right? Uh, of course, uh, presently, uh, uh, some of these are already licensed to me. So that's how I'm able to use all of these. So uh, some of the things may be less in your screen because because of your subscription, because I've already subscribed uh, officially to Word, Excel and PowerPoint. They are there. So some of these things we are also trying to buy for the college. So you'll have Teams here, which is uh, important. This is what we are talking about, Teams. And then Outlook is a way to actually manage your emails, right? So Outlook is one form where you can schedule the meetings. So I'll show you how to schedule the meetings. So the other way around to log in is uh, teams.microsoft.com, uh, right? teams.microsoft.com. When I uh, look at that, so directly you will go and log in into uh, Microsoft Teams. So uh, you can also get the Windows app. So it will be available as an app. Now I will show you, uh, this is an app which I've already, uh, this thing, uh, this is the app that I have created. So let me log out from this maybe. So, uh, yeah, I can close it. And uh, here it is uh, Teams, right? When I search Teams, you will get Microsoft Teams. This is an application which is in installed. This is an app. So, I, so I, I can have a browser based, I can have a mobile based, I can have an app based. So, this is a Windows app which gets opened, right? So, uh, these are two options. Those, this is an app which is there. So, if I look at my Teams, these are the Teams which are uh, there. These are the teams. Uh, so maybe I created all faculty once when we can, when I, when we connect to the workshop. All faculty's emails are added there. And faculty underscore CSC. This is one link which is already created. CSC PG two post graduation M Tech uh, two. Like this, most of the uh, course codes are set up, right? So you will have uh, WE PG underscore two. So second semester PG. Third uh, third semester I don't think we have classes. So uh, like that every semester, first semester, second semester, third semester, like that you can have. So some of these uh, teams are already created. And uh, so this is how a team looks like. So when I open a team, uh, these are the teams. And if, if, if I can have some uh, discussion and all that we can have. So some of the files which I can add here. So uh, we are presently not added, right? Uh, so if you look at uh, yesterday, when we look at, uh, if you look at a class screen, how it looks like. So you will have these uh, posts, files, class notebook, assignments and grades right so all these things so you can see that now uh, the question is how do i how do i schedule the thing so i go to the calendar and here is presently a meeting which i have already scheduled right so this is already scheduled so let us say tomorrow also i want to schedule so i go here and one option is click there and the other option is you can also do a new meeting here right some other date that you wrote you can click here 
or you can also go in. Th these are the timings here, 11 a.m., 12 p.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m. So if you want to, let us say tomorrow 4 p.m., if I want to schedule, I can click here or I can click here saying new meeting. The same window opens, right? Once this window opens, then you can say uh, demo for, uh, let us say, July 8th. Want to create and uh, this is july 7th is shown here so i'll select july 8th uh, so this is four o'clock 4 p.m so i can select every half an hour slots are there if you want to select exactly in between also you can select so four o'clock slot and then it goes on for one hour so five o'clock uh, so you can do that and then uh, you can schedule the discussion of the meeting what why do you want to have the class what do you want to teach whatever that can be done and now here i'm saying add a channel this is the advantage of microsoft teams where i can directly send an email to all the students these groups are already created for all of you. So you are uh, once uh, the semester starts, once you assign us the course coordinators, we will give you the course coordinators and the program advisor will be added to this group, right? So once I open, now when I go to PSP, uh, CSC2 and I say general, now once I send, once I click on send here, so all the students will get an email. Right. So that is something which we can do presently. Let me not disturb everybody. So what already mails may be going. Let me show you to uh, one particular. I will send to my own personal mail and show you. So I schedule a meeting and I say send. Right. So here you see this uh, meeting will be scheduled here in your calendar. Right. And then if you want to see the other way around, uh, I have already shown you that we have something called portal.office.com here also I created. So I go to Outlook and within Outlook, I uh, try to look at the calendar. Calendar will be uh, here down somewhere. Yeah, this is the calendar. The meeting is getting scheduled there, right? So Thursday uh, 8th, uh, you will have to get that uh, demo meeting coming up. So I can schedule from here also and send it. So this is another option that I can do. So this is eight and uh, let us say on, on eight, let us say eight o'clock, I schedule the meeting and uh, let me send it to uh, anybody here, uh, you're online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so when I see all the faculty, M -M -M, uh, uh, all faculty names and students names are easily visible. You can search anybody. Chitrakan Sahu, I'm scheduling a meeting and sending an invitation. Just I have to click here. When I send from Outlook, I have to create that Teams meeting. So that link will come. Right? So uh, once I click on uh, I will so add a meeting. So this is the same as such uh, in trying to uh, look at that. So just refresh your email. And uh, sometimes uh, it, it is going to spam these days. So you can just check that. So I had a, a meeting which was scheduled uh, and I sent it to my personal ID. Of course, that was a uh, little, little while. When I was sitting there, I just did that. So you get a link. Uh, I called, I've, I've uh, called these two people, uh, Balaji and uh, others to join and I sent a link and then you click on this link and then you can uh, try to join for that class. Right. So this is, uh, did you get, uh, maybe check spam.